Hi, my name is Jason DeKoff and I'm an associate professor at Tennessee State University. Today on our Soil Smart series, we're going to be talking about fertilizer calculations. So this is a basic uh, calculation for fertilizer. Somebody wants to apply about 100 pounds of nitrogen per acre and they're using a specific fertilizer product, how much fertilizer should be applied? So the first thing we need to identify is what those numbers mean on the fertilizer bag. Uh, the 28 refers to the amount of nitrogen. The 3 represents the relative amount of phosphorus and the 6 represents the relative amount of potassium that's present in that fertilizer. So in this case we're looking at nitrogen so the 28 means there's 28 percent nitrogen in that fertilizer. And so the first step, we take that 28% and we convert it to a fraction, so we've got 0.28. And then we're going to take that 100 pounds that we need um, and divide it by the fraction, so 100 divided by 0.28. And we end up with 357 pounds, so that means we need to apply 357 pounds of that particular product, and that will give us our 100 pounds um, that we are looking for. Now another question, what if we want uh, say 100 pounds of phosphorus or potassium? Now if that were the case you'd probably want to use a different product than the one we're using because they, it has very low amounts of, of both. But we'll go ahead and, and use this as an example for, um, for the remaining um, two fertilizers, phosphorus and potassium. Now with the nitrogen it was nice because the 28 that was present in the value represented directly represented 28 percent nitrogen. Now for phosphorus the three percent that's shown there actually represents the percentage of P2O5 so it's not percent phosphorus it's percent P2O5 and then also the same thing with potassium that six percent that we see doesn't represent percent potassium but it, res it represents percent K2O and so one of the things we have to do, we basically have to go through an extra step of calculation um, to be able to get to how much phosphorus is actually in the product. And so to do that, what we do is we identify the amount of phosphorus that's in P2O5. And for this, that's 44%, and that's always going to be 44%. So that's a factor that you can use um, for any of the phosphorus calculations that you have. And then for potassium, it, there's 83% potassium in K2O. And so we'll be using these factors you'll see on the next few slides for calculating how much we need to apply. So we're looking again at phosphorus. And so we know that there's 3% P2O5 and 44% of that P2O5 is actually phosphorus. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to multiply that 3% that's in the fertilizer by 0.44, which is the fraction um, of that 44% that you see. And so we end up with 1.32%. So 1.32% now represents that's how much phosphorus is actually in the fertilizer. So that was that extra step that we had to go through. And now everything else is basically the same as what we did with the nitrogen. We convert uh, 1.32 to a fraction uh, that you can see there. And then we divide the 100 pounds that we're looking for uh, by that fraction. And then we get a value of 7,576 pounds. So like I said before, you'd most likely be looking for a different fertilizer product that's got more phosphorus in it to begin with but this is just uh, for an example. And then so now this is the one for potassium. Like I said before, 6% of the fertilizer product is K2O. We know that 83% of K2O is, is potassium. And so we take the 6% that's in the product and we multiply it by 0.83, which is that fraction of the 83%. So what we end up with is 4.98%. And again, 4.98% represents now how much potassium is in the product. And then we go through the next steps. We convert 4.98 to a fraction. We divide the 100 pounds that we're looking for by that fraction. 
and we get the amount that we need to apply on a per acre basis. So that's 2,008 pounds. So that wraps things up for our fertilizer calculations. If you've got any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. My email and my Twitter account are there on this slide. And we hope you'll tune in to future Soil Smart series to get some additional information about your soils. Thank you.